Hello, hello. Tip of the cap, well, tug of the cap to Joe for recommending today's video. Uh, mahalo, brah. Now, in Maine, you can use the word dear when you're writing a letter, or you can use it with someone you're rather fond of, a sweetheart and such. But just because someone says dear to you doesn't mean they're, uh, you know, like uh, making a move on you. In Maine, the word can mean nothing more than hey you. And it's the kind of thing a waitress might say to you when she asks you if you want more coffee, dear. Now, of course, she could just say more coffee, but adding dear seems to soften it a little bit. Now, a lot of people also use the word honey for this, but uh, I bet honey is used in a lot more states than deer is used for. But uh, let me know in the comments below where you are, whether they say honey or deer or none of the above. Now, one final note in his book, Main Lingo, John Gould uh, makes it pretty clear that a few decades back, the word deer was used much more widely um, by old timers, I think he, <laughs> he said. And it wasn't so much a thing that we use only for women or only by women. Uh, but nowadays, it seems like you usually hear women in, in restaurants, etc., saying it to customers and other customers saying dear to the women in the restaurants. But I, I use the word dear with friends regardless of gender. Strangers? No, no, no. People I don't like? <laughs> I've got other choice expressions for them. And now you know, dear, how to talk like a manner.